Good afternoon, everyone. Today we're going to be looking at grips. So we got two different styles of grips for you. This is for a fixed grip chair lift, a, actually a quad and a triple chair. That being said, grips aren't a whole lot different no matter what size of chair you're putting them on. The only time you're going to get really fancy is if you're getting into a detachable grip. So here, we'll zoom in here and I'll show you how two manufacturers go about this. So on our left, we have a Leitner Palma fixed grip for a quad chair. And on our right, this is a BM fixed grip for a triple chair. The only difference with the, for a BM quad is it's a bit bigger. You'll also have more spring washes. So on the Palma style, you have the jaw. Goes through and the cable will go through the center here. And the spring force is going to pull the jaw in thus supplying the force to hold the grip on the cable itself. And that's done through these spring packs. And these are what's called a helical spring or a spring washer. You see they're a little bit cupped. Here we have one assembled and greased, if you have a look. Lovely, lovely. So you put this on. On these particular chairs, you have what's called a sway dampener. So these washers prevent the chair from swaying too much. They would go on here. And then you have a locking collar, goes on here. Ooh, I did that one-handed with my left hand. That's good, right there. Spring pack goes on. Castle nut. What you're gonna be doing is tightening this down until this backpack is flush with the spring pack housing. And that way you know your springs are in and it's good to run. And then of course we're going to do slip tests and a few other things to ensure that everything's right with it. With the BM, which is also similar to Doppelmeyer, is you have your jaw, sorry, push pin. So your push pin goes into the spring body itself. And with these ones, you can see here, so you got your little disc here, your spring pack, another disc. This will go in the end of the grip, and then there's a bolt that's going to push through, and it's going to push the jaw again against the cable, and thus getting your spring force this way, as opposed to pulling on it. I prefer this method of grip, because if the jaw were to ever break or you'd lose spring force, the chair's not going to fall off the cable. With this, it might. Just kidding. I've never seen a Palma grip fail an NDT test. They're very good grip. Just my personal preference. But, just interesting. Two different grips doing the exact same job, just going about it a very different way. Actually, just for fun, because, you know, special guest, Mr. BMF grip. Oh, God, these are heavy. So here is basically a modern version of the BM grip. And in here, again, you have all your springs, but they use two, two sorry, two, two coil springs wound together. And again, push pin, getting your brake force. Very nice grip. A little heavy, but very nice, very well done. Europeans and Swiss, I mean, they make good watches and grips, apparently, it's wonderful. But we'll bring you guys along when we go to put these things back in the chairs and show you all the procedures that happen to make sure you stay on the ski lifts and the ski lifts stay together. Thanks for watching.